librarian at the Nina Public Library. Mary Squire, the librarian, is a dispenser of a lot of information. Um, I tell the main character, Katie, um, the history of the town and some of the prominent families, and particular, particularly some of the legends about um, the various houses in town. I like filming in the Fox Valley is because I'm from here. Um, I went to Nina High School and uh, my whole family still lives here. I have cousins here and aunts. Uh, my mother still lives here. So uh, I have not only the privilege of shooting the movie, but I get to visit my family uh, as well. So it's been, a, it's been a great coming home for me. As far as places that I like here in town, um, it's been great fun for me because I haven't been home in a few years. And I'm just amazed at how how the place has changed, to be quite honest. Uh, I mean, there's so many more roads and, that I ever remember, big highways and big bridges. And so it's been sort of interesting uh, figuring my way around in a town that you know I've lived in my whole life, essentially. But um, I've been to some fun restaurants. Um, Canova's is a restaurant that I know my family likes a lot, and uh, Carmela's. I went to dinner with the director there and had a really great meal there. I met Michael Sable um, in LA, and I went out for a nice lunch uh, with him and with his wife, Susan. And um, he's a very down-to-earth guy, really fun to work with, creates a great atmosphere on the set, um, and he's really smart and good at what he does. So it's really a privilege to be working with him, and um, yeah, I, I, I'm excited to see the movie. Scheduling is always, you know, one prime reason why I choose to take a project or not, and I happen to be available. I just finished a, a small arc on The Young and the Restless, and my schedule was free, and uh, the opportunity to come home and work with Michael and also visit my family. I mean, it was just, it couldn't have been more perfect. So it was timing, it was the people involved in the project, and it was the script. It's scary. So I think one of the reasons you should go and see the movie Wraith, even if you're afraid of scary movies, is because you'll have the opportunity to see streets and houses and locations in your town that you recognize. Who knows, you might even see your car driving through a shot. You never know.